in this tutorial i am going to show you how to work with another local server that is laragon you have learned how to use jam but in some cases jam can become a problem for you for the port problem or port issue if you see or if you face any such problem you can just leave it and just go into the laragon so in the google search by laragon you will see there is a website laragon and i am going to open it and this is the laragon website so from here i am going to download it i am going to the download option and here you will uh, see that there is a download laragon full version and it has php 8.1 support just go to click here i am going to uh, download it for the uh, 64 bit now click on a start download and it is going to be download on your computer just wait until the download is finished the download is finished and after the download is uh, finished just go where it was downloaded now i am going to the download location now just right click here and go to open folder and you see that here the laragon is downloaded just uh, run it as administrator now and it will be installed on the computer yes now the installation process will start it here you see that it is asking where it will be installed i am going to install it in the d drive so i am going to uh, change the c drive to d and next i am going to click here and you see that the run laragon with when, when windows start auto virtual host add root pad okay i am not going to change anything here click on next then click on install it is going to be installed on the d drive uh, so just wait until the installation is being finished so after the installation is finished you will see this type of widget now i am going to run the laragon click on just finish when it will open this uh, dialog box now in front of you uh, here you see that this is laragon full 6 version 6.0 and the psp is 8.1.10 and it is installed on your computer now you will see that here is um, you will see a start all i am going to click on a start all you will see that the apache is apache will be started now the apache and mysql both these services will be started now just wait for some times and it will come and now we will see that it apache uh, this version is started and mysql this version mysql 8.0 it is started that means uh, php and mysql those are started i am going to d drive you see that there is a folder named laragon and this is actually the system i have installed now and you will see a triple w folder here and this is actually your workable folder and i will work in this folder uh, always so if the php is installed uh, correctly in order to do that in order to check that i will have just use the service like this then just close and another one is here i am going to write some code for example test dot php and i am going to open this one this test.php i am going to open with my editor and this is the visual studio code editor and here i am going to write some codes for example php info this is a very important thing for us to check the php version so i have uh, used the php info function now close it and now what i am going to do i am just uh, going to my browser and here i am going to write localhost and then test.php and you see that it is running perfectly and this is php version 8.1.10 but if you want to open the php my admin now you will see that forbidden you have installed laragon that does not mean you have installed php my admin you have just you uh, installed php and mysql now to work with php my admin you will have to install it 
separately and here you see that now when you have installed laragon uh, an icon will come here and if you click on right mouse click you will see that here are many other things here you can just make it add uh, or off on or off like this okay here you also see that under mysql there is a php my admin so just click here and it will take you to a tutorial just log in in the forum if you log in to the laragon.org this forum i already have logged in here then you can see this post here on here you will see that uh, how to add php my admin they are asking and here you see a link that is www.phpmyadmin.net download so i am going there to download the php my admin okay so here uh, i am going to download the latest version 5.2.0 uh, start all and it will be downloaded and the tail uh, to extract into this location etc apps php my admin so i am going to open it first where it is downloaded this one i'm going to uh, cut it and where they tell me to go that is etc apps so in the laragon here you see there's etc and there is a apps and here i will just paste the php my admin now i extract it here extract here you see that the php my admin is going to be extracted it can take uh, just few minutes to extract it this is very small file only 13 megabyte and after uh, it is done you will see that this is the php my admin folder i will just rename it and give it php my admin just this and remove this gif file now i am going to my editor again that was forbidden fast 403 now i am going to reload and you will see that it comes the username password and login this one and here username by default you know our by default username is root and there is no password actually login but it is not working it is telling me uh, to apply allow no password so there is a uh, configuration uh, where allow no password i will have to check i'm going to copy this one and i am going to check it where i will have to uh, give the password it it will tell my sql root password now i am going to uh, check the php my admin if there is any password system here i am going to search with grapevin here is a config.sample.inc file i am going to open it uh, this file location is into the php my admin config file okay uh, that means uh, php my admin here you will see there is a config file config.sample here i am going to search by this line allow no password you see that allow no password this one is false now i am going to make it true and save this file now let's go to the php my admin again refresh just give root username is root login and i am going if it does not work i am going to stop the service again uh, i am going to open it stop and then i will start all now here root refresh again root and then login yes now it is working so just refresh one time and this will work you see that now i can easily access to php my admin i hope you liked my video if you like my video then do not forget to comment and also share my video with other people if you still did not subscribe to my channel then i request you to subscribe to my channel thank you